Julia. This week I've been working with um, canvas. This is a natural cotton canvas. It's a 10 ounce. I do get it on Amazon and I'll link it down below for you. It's fun to work with because I, it really tears really easily and it leaves these wonderful raw edges. I made this tote and I wanted to share with you how I made it. It goes together really easily. All the seams are sewn um, so that the raw seams are out and it just it has an interesting um, a look to it it's fully lined but it goes together really really quick um, and it has a little bit of velcro for closure and a big pot a pocket on the back i think this would make a wonderful like beach bag or just a, a market bag if you're just running to the store for a couple things and wonderful gifts as well i hope you enjoy it let's get started the canvas that i'm using is 100 percent cotton and it is 60 inches wide. And I'm just gonna clip it and then just rip. My outer pieces for my, my tote are, is 16 inches wide and 17 inches high. And then I'm also gonna do another rip here. This is for the strap and I'm measuring four inches by the whole length. So each strap will be 30 inches. And then I'm also going to rip just a little two inch strip. This is for the facing that goes around the top of the tote. I also want to make sure I take the salvage edge off and then I'm going to measure that um, 16 inches, rip it and measure two of those for my um, outer pieces of my tote both the front and the back. And then that other little piece is just extra for another project. This is the piece that I'm gonna use for my peace sign. I just I drew that peace sign out on a piece of paper. And this blue check is my lining piece. And I cut that um, a half, a inch shorter. So this is cut at 16 inches by 16 inches. And then just cutting those that three inch square out of the corners. I'm gonna box my corners. And also that three inches will be cut out of my um, outer and my outer layer, both my front and the back. Just cutting around that three inch square. For my peace sign, I'm just using my tearaway stabilizer to draw this design. This um, stabilizer is just um, paper that has been recycled. And it's just a nice fab, a nice weight and easily bendable and whatever for these designs. So I'm cutting that out and then I also have a po patch pocket that I finished the top and folded under the edges and that'll get just pinned on the back side. I'll set that aside. And now for my piece design, I'm just gonna get that in the center and pin that to the front of my bag. And flipping it over and then putting this piece face down. And I cut that piece larger than my piece side. I want at least an oh, inch and a half on all sides just to make sure I, I catch it. And then taking this to my sewing machine and I have red thread on and it's just an all all purpose thread and I'm using my free motion and I'm going to be stitching around this um, piece sign and I'm, I'm not going right on the edge. I, I bought a, about a quarter of an inch or so I'm, it, and it gets wiggly. I go around this at least three times. Um, it doesn't matter if it's right um, on the line or not. I'm just getting this down. I'm able to use that peace sign again, so I just stuck it into my uh, box that I keep all my designs in. Now I'm removing that after I've got it on there um, one time. And then like I said, I'm gonna go over these um, tw uh, three times. I have my patch pocket on and now it's just to remove this design. I'm, I'm just using a, a seam ripper at first and then I'm getting my scissor in here. This is my Tim Holtz scissor. It's got a really pointy tip and it's really sharp. 
it works great for this kind of a thing. I want to make sure I'm only cutting the canvas and not that under under and that's what it looks like. It's just so bright. To stitch this together now, I have my, my um, wrong sides together and I'm going to be stitching a half an inch on both sides and also the bottom. And then as I fold, I'm going to fold this and then top stitch this. And I fold, I'm top stitching it so that it's towards the front. I'm doing the same to the bottom. And this is what it looks like. I love that frayed edge. Now for the box, I'm just uh, matching my seams and then sewing a half inch and then again top stitching that down. Got all that done. I'm going to stick it in this laundry bag now and I'm going to wash this. I want to make sure to let you know that you want to have this, this, this canvas pre-washed before you do this. Um, cause it I'm on to my lining now and I'm putting my pieces right sides together for this one and constructing that the same as I did the front. I will be sewing my side seams, taking about a half inch um, and then also sewing the bottom together. I'm doing the boxed uh, bottom the same way as well. Just um, I did press those seams open and then matching those seams and just sewing right across. And here's the strap. I folded it three times and then I do want that raw edge showing on the top. And so I'm just gonna top stitch on both edges. Got my little bag out of the wash and I like how it, how it turned out. It did fray up a little bit and it just really has a texture to the front. Cutting that strap in half now, so each strap is going to be 30 inches. And just pinning this into place. I am going to use, I didn't really measure, but I, I about a couple inches in on both sides. And I just tucked about an inch or inch and a half um, down underneath there. I'm doing the back as well, just evening them up and making sure they're, they're matching. And now it's time to stuff that lining inside. Now this lining is cut an inch shorter and so it's going to be an inch away from the top of this bag. And again, I'm just doing some more pinning and just getting that pinned into place all the way around. Approximately one inch from the top. And now for that facing. This facing is going to cover up that lining and also those straps. And it, 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 that was a piece that I tore at two inches. And it has the raw edges are going to meet the raw edges of my tote. And again, just pinning everything into place. And here's what it looks like all pinned. And I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine now and I'm gonna top stitch three different times, right close to the edge on this first one. Just removing all my pins as I go. And then I, I, I set it down about another oh, quarter of an inch or so away from that first seam around. And now here's my third time around and that's about an inch down. So everything gets caught and finishes off that inside so nicely. Very simple. And the last thing, I'm just going to add a piece of Velcro as my closure. I did about three inches and the soft part of the Velcro I do on the front. The front side, of course on the inside, but on the front of, of the inside. And just pinning those, um, getting a, between those straps. And then the hook part of my, my hook tape is going to be on the other side. and be stitching all the way around. And that completes the bag. I hope you liked it. Um, it just uh, going to get, went together really quickly and even though it's all raw edge, everything is finished off. Thanks everybody who's joined me. Hope you have a chance to create this week. Bye for now.